what up? It's your boy T Bear and the reaction today is a mixture of trying to let Tuesday and some leftover day as well too. Depends on what I can fit in. So kick things up with some trade rags. It's gonna be four and one from trade rags. A little bit, a little behind with trade rags stuff. So first one we got is how news report interview people at the traumatic events stuff. Like I said, like I always say, Trey Rags a fool. He not make anything hilarious, even serious situations. So, without further ado, let's check it out. And the story is very devastating. Now to you, Garrett. Yes, yeah, devastating indeed, Kelly. I am currently outside of the recently burnt down house where it is said that a single mother was cooking breakfast for her sleeping daughter before the house went up in flames. And... I'm sad to tell you guys that the child did pass away. Oh. Um, oh, oh, here is the mother of that accident right here. Um, hi, how you doing? I'm Garrett from Nitty Gritty News. Um, can we please just get, you know, uh, your side of what happened in the situation and how did the fire start? Oh no, I don't, I don't know. I just, I was making her breakfast. I put the bacon on the stove. It was literally on there for a few minutes and and the, and the stove just just went into flames. I couldn't even control it. I, I don't understand. Like it was literally like four pieces of bacon. How does it feel that your daughter became the fifth piece? Just look at the fifth piece of bacon. How, how does it feel that your daughter became the fifth piece of bacon that you cooked today? Whoa, um, that was very vulgar. I'm sorry for that. Hopefully you guys beat that out back at the station. Um, but I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, I'm Garrett from Nitty Gritty News, and we like to get into the nitty gritty of the situation. We like to get into the mindset of the people that we're interviewing. So, yeah, we just want you to, you know, explain to your uh, best abilities. I swear this nigga has no, no... Do you think it'll be easier now making breakfast without a daughter? Get no. that out of my face! Get out of my face! Um, um she home. seems very upset right now, guys. So has we'll no have to get chill. back to the story later. But I just heard news in my ear of the famous two-leg shelter dog named Shelby has just given birth to a litter of puppies. And even though we just lost a child today, America just gained five more. What? Back to you, Kelly. Are you for real? This nigga has no chills. This nigga did not have no chill at all. This nigga has no chill. I'm trying. Maybe I'm trying to get us fucked up, but I'm trying because I ain't trying to lose. But this nigga would have no chill. Oh my god. That's only the first one. Like, I'm not sure about these other ones. Oh god. I'm a fair piece of bacon. Trey Rag, mmm. Oh my god. I when she asked for a picture. Whew, let me get through this, man. Like, what even made you slide in my DMs in the first place? <laughs> Listen, I was looking at your Instagram pictures and I was like, yo, she is fine as hell. <laughs> Stop. For real, I'm like, I gotta get her number. You look good too. I'm like, struggling you only got right one now. picture. I'm gonna need another. I'm still struggling for that first one. That's a damn shame. Ain't the ain't cause it's funny. Just a uh, fucked up. I'm la I'm trying to laugh about how fucked up he is. Another picture. Of oh yeah, yeah for sure. Let me let me see. Let me see what I got. No no no. I'm gonna need you to take a picture right now. All right now. Yes. <laughs> All right cool. Uh, I'll take one right now. Okay, I'm waiting. It's facts. Um, it's facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill out, chill out. I'm you trying picture. to get a good picture? Okay. It's facts. It'll come out the way you want it. Oh, 
I just need some sunlight. I just need some sunlight. That's what make me. That's what make me need some sunlight. Dang, it's kind of bright. Mm -hmm. What's the point? What the hell? It was not even that bright. No. Well, what happened? No. No, I didn't even do that. Wait, did, did I didn't you take the picture? What? what? No, I ain't, I ain't taking no picture, bro. I ain't taking no picture. Forget it, dog. What? Why? Why? I'm ugly, nigga. Hey. Hey. I'm ugly. What? I don't understand. What? what? Why are you mad? Drop my phone. Nah, no. I ain't know I look like that. I'm not sure I'm gonna make, make it through these videos. My goodness. See, I'm ugly, nigga. Oh, oh God. Ooh, that's the ball to make this video. How whole dudes were their, their city is known. Jesus. Oh, my fault, bro. I ain't see Yo, you. Yo, watch where you going, nigga. What you think this is? Hey, yo, chill out, bro. Chill out. Because you too, you too hype, bro. What, nigga? Yo, who you talking to, nigga? You know where I'm from, nigga? I'm from Dunzeldorf, nigga. I'm from Dunzeldorf, so watch how you talk. Dunzeldorf? Dunzeldorf? Yeah, nigga. Dorf? Yeah. The hell is Dunzeldorf? Nigga, everybody know about Dunzeldorf. Everybody know about Dunzeldorf. Don't even do that. Bro, I never heard everybody of that. Everybody know. I never, I never heard of that shit. You better calm that down, I know. I, know. I never heard of that place. From Dunzeldorf, nigga. We, you know we don't play like that. Bro, see. You know we don't play like that. Hey. Hey, yo. Everybody know I'm from Dunzeldorf, nigga. Yo, 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 ever heard of a place called Dunzeldorf? Hell no, nigga. Yeah, 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 bro. Hell Nobody bro, know about Dunzeldorf, bro. Everybody know not Nobody to play nigga. Everybody don't have to play with us. Don't make me go in my pocket, bro. Don't make me go in my pocket. That's why I grabbed the strap, nigga. I got a strap, too. A strap? Nigga, you know how Dorf niggas get down? What the hell? Nobody carrying no strap, nigga. I'm from Dunzeldorf. Nigga, did you just pull out a 40-pound weight from your pocket? Yeah, you scared now, huh? Yeah, you scared now, because you, you know how Dunzeldorf niggas get down. You know what we do with these. What do y'all do with them? You know what we do with these. Come on, now. I'm Dunzeldorf, nigga. Straight Dunzeldorf, nigga. No, bro. No, I, I ain't even trying to find out what y'all do, nigga. Listen, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. That's what I I'm sorry, bro. Calm that down, bro, because I don't want to have to use it. I don't, I don't even, I don't, I don't know what you into, my nigga, but I'm, listen. I don't, we don't even got to go that far, bro. For real. All right then, nigga. I said, what a Dunzeldorf, nigga. What's wrong with you? These videos been good so far. Woo! I've been struggling on three videos straight. Now this last one. Got a lot to talk about that one. White people react be watching the Little Mermaid trailer. Yeah. Before I even go even further. Oh boy. Nothing against folks, mom. Nothing against y'all, but some of the folks and some of the folks is like really got an issue with it though. So mm. So let's see how Trey Ray do this one. Ah! Yo, 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 what are you? What are you yelling you for? See that trailer, bro? Bro, the little mermaid is gonna be blind down, down, bro. Like, listen, dude. Listen, dude, I'm not racist, dude. And you and you know that, because you're my black friend. But bro, the little mermaid was white, man. Like, I'm just I'm so tired of this of this woke crap, man. I'm so tired of these movies trying to be woke and just shoving race on our throat. Like now, now I can't even go see the movie. Like now I can't go see oh, it. Oh, you was not even gonna go watch The Little Mermaid. I, I was thinking about it, but like, like now I can't, bro. I can't. Like, like this woke stuff, man. Like, come on, like, like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, now just imagine, imagine if we did something like that. No, like for real, like, like just take the time to imagine if we did something like that. It'd be a problem. It'd be wrong, right? It'd be wrong if we did it, right? Imagine, imagine no! if we did it. Like, no, no, like, oh! take a second and imagine. Imagine, dude. Imagine. Like, like the world would go crazy. Like, it's just not right, man. It's just not right. You can't just, you can't just change the character, like the, the whole character. Like, it, it, it's just wrong, dude. It's wrong, dude. Listen, bro. I can understand if you was complaining about the movie being woke. Like, if they was talking about the struggles of being black. Or they was just shoving racing in your face. But bro, the movie didn't even come out yet. You don't even know if that's what they're gonna do. 
Nah, man, nah. And I can also understand if being white was integral or important to the culture of the character of the mermaid. Almost lost if I saw Dragon Ball Evolution. I'm going to tell you right now. Mermaid. But it's not. In the original, it was just about being a mermaid, bro. So, okay, they changed it, but it's really not that big of a deal. But, bro, black, black people can't be mermaids. Black people can't be mermaids. Why can't black people be mermaids? Because black people can't swim, nigga. Wow. Y'all can't swim. There, I said it. Wow. Y'all can't swim. Okay. Now, now, now she's coming to the sea, and now she's bringing crime to the area. Now she, now she about to bring all the sharks. Now all the sharks about to come into that nice sea, bro. That's the problem. Well, the truth, the, his true color done came out. That's how it be. They be trying to be down, then shit like this happen. Just sometimes shit like this, you bring the true color of the, of the uh, underground, undercover races. It's true. Now the sharks is in the area. Now they, now they polluting the city. Okay, I get it now. Now, now, the, now the nice fish gotta move out yep. to the nice part. Mm -hmm. I get it now. Now, now. now I see the real film. They gotta yep. go to the, to the okay. Pacific Ocean. Sense now. now. That's the problem. Dang. That was a nice sea. That was a nice sea till, they, till she moved in. Can't even swim. the video but yeah um i got laughing now <laughs> i'm laughing at the hot the dance but huh the first three was hilarious the first three was hilarious I almost lost so many times and almost a little um, a couple times almost lost it when he showed the dragon ball evolution because i'm all like you know how they do uh people's culture stuff like god be jump and and the anime live actions but yeah that right there, that's probably how they be thinking. Not not to the extent, but just about. You know what I mean, especially the ones that I have the black friend. I have the black friend ones. Sometimes the black friends they they, they, they true color come stuff like this will bring them true true colors out at times. So you gotta watch it. But other than that, like I always say, Trey Rack's a fool. Mm mm mm. Ooh, but that first one, uh that first one, I'm done with him, man. Not done, but you know, I'm I was through with him on that first one. Fit piece of bacon, yo. What the fuck? Mm mm mm. Lord. Whew. Mm mm mm. Other than that, shout out to Trey Rags. Shout out to Trey Rags here, man. He keep us entertained, man. Through these trying times in the of the new 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 generation when doing stuff like this, he keep us entertained, man. So, yeah. so if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to your channel. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.